Good morning, everyone. Dana with the OT Guide. Today, I'm gonna to go over my favorite homemade pencil grasps. Um, first things first, we only want to remediate a pencil grasp if it isn't functional. It's not functional if it's causing our student discomfort in their joints. It's not functional if it's causing messy, illegible writing or preventing them from drawing efficiently. Um, there are plenty of funky grasps out there that look weird but are completely functional. So we don't want to mess with those. We only want to mess with the ones that are causing our student pain and preventing them from participating in school. So let me get started. So my favorite homemade pencil grasp involves a rubber band or a hair tie. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the rubber band over our student's wrist like so. We're gonna make a loop and then we're gonna put the pencil through this loop. Here we go. So this is what it looks like. So the reason I love this grasp is it literally forces the pencil in place. Um, this grasp, super easy to make, as you can see, and it's really good for kids who hold the pencil straight up and down, like so. Kids who hold the pencil straight up and down, you can always just tell them to push the pencil back. I always say this is the head of the pencil and this is the pillow, so put the head in the pillow. But if they have a hard time pushing it back, that, this is when you would use a rubber band or a hair tie and make that type of grasp. Another favorite of my homemade grasps involves a clothespin. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your clothespin, you're gonna put it here on the pencil, and you're gonna instruct the child to take their two fingers, wrap it around the clothespin, and have their other fingers surround the clothespin like so. So the clothespin is a wonderful little hack because it gives your child a cue to not use these bottom two fingers. So this is perfect for a child who uses a full fisted grasp or a five finger grasp, reminding them again to tuck these two fingers away and hold on to the clothespin. The next of my favorites just involves using a small object. I'm using a piece of a sponge that I cut. You can use a pom-pom or a cotton ball or a Lego, really any tiny object. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna cue your child to hold the object against their palm using these two fingers while they hold the pencil with their other three fingers. So again, this is perfect for any child that does uh, a five finger grasp like this or a fisted grasp like this because it's cueing them, it's giving them a tactile cue to stabilize an object in their palm and it's preventing them from being able to use all five fingers on the pencil. So they're gonna draw and they're gonna write while they're stabilizing the item. My next favorite, using a simple binder clip. So what you do is you take the binder clip you put it towards the top of the pencil, like so. Uh, this one is too big. I recommend getting smaller binder clips. If you only have big ones, just wrap a pipe cleaner in the front and around the back to prevent slippage. And you're gonna have your student take their pointer finger, put it on top, and their thumb and their middle finger are gonna be on the sides. Again, this is promoting a very nice functional tripod grasp. The sock method is next. So this is super easy. What you're gonna do is you're gonna cut two small holes into an old sock. One is gonna be on the toe where the big toe would be, and the other would be right where the next toe is. So right next to each other. One's right here and one's right here. And they don't have to be very big. They're basically gonna be right next to each other. one hole there, and then I'm gonna do one hole right here. Voila. Your child is gonna put their thumb through one hole and their pointer finger through the other. And voila, they have a nice tripod grasp. So their thumb and their pointer finger are stabilizing and then the pencil is resting on the middle finger and all the other fingers here. They're all tucked in. 
My next pencil grip involves rubber bands or hair ties or even a saran wrap if you have it. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna build up the side of the pencil and we're gonna add a squishy texture to it. So I'm just gonna add a bunch of rubber bands to it. Voila. And this is just if your child likes to have more support around the pencil. Rubber band trick. The last trick is just coloring your child's uh, thumb, pointer, and middle finger green for go fingers. These are the fingers we want our child to hold the pencil with. And their pinky and their ring finger stop fingers. So it's just gonna be a visual cue to help them remember we use these three fingers when we hold the pencil. My stop fingers are tucked away and my green fingers are holding the pencil.